Good morning, good morning. Yes, uh, Lucky Kazungu here, and I'm here to share with you guys on the importance or the advantages of goat farming and the disadvantages of goat farming. So, as you, for those who know me personally, they know me as an environmentalist and also they know me as a goat farmer. So, what are the advantages of goat farming? Number one, it's easier to start. Number two, it's affordable. And number three is that goats are grazers and also are browsers. So they graze on leaves, they graze or, or they feed on grasses. So whenever, whenever drought comes or when drought comes and there are no grasses, goats will feed on the leaves. And when rain comes and grass is available, they'll feed on the grasses. So that's one of the advantages, or oh, those are the advantages. But the disadvantages is uh, they're prone to diseases, but also they have also a good advantage compared to other forms of farming that they're prone to diseases, but they are also resistant to them. So maybe you can see them that have been affected for, for some days, but then when you vaccinate them or you look for a vet to come and treat them, they'll be, they'll retain their health back. The other advantage is goats do reproduce at least twice every year. So if you start with two goats, that is a male and a female. By the end of the year, you'll be having at least four goats if all goes well. And also, uh, these goats, they can scavenge on themselves. <coughs> so here I'm going to share also with you guys on the factors to consider before you start your goat farming project. Number one, uh, Consider the breed that you want to start with. And according to my, I will advise you, start with any breed that is available. Because the, as we say always, uh, the starting point is always the hardest. So when you start with any breed that is available, you'll have made a step towards your project. Then another thing is, do you have space? So for me, uh, um, this is my space and this area has almost of, uh, 12 acres so that's a large space or enough space for me also from that you can also start with uh, security of your area so if your, net area, if your area is not secure, or if your area has many thieves, then consider that as a threat to your project because as you all know, thieves come to steal and might also harm your goats. And this uh, has been a really challenge to many farmers. Then another thing is, before you start it, make sure it's your passion. Because if it's not your passion, then you're going to fail terribly. So make sure that you start something that you're passionate about. Because it, through the passion is when you're going to take care of, or you're going to be very keen and ensure that you succeed in your passion. Then uh, the other thing is, who are you going to leave your goals to take care of them? So, uh, many people, like for my, for my case, I started my goat farming with, uh, my, my goat farm with two goats, and I entrusted them to my uncle, who had a bigger goat farm. But then, after interesting him with the two goats, uh, I went to school and after three years I came back to 
check on how my goats were doing. So in, in the three years I was expecting to be having at least 10 to 15 goats. That is the three years time that I was in school. But to my surprise, I found only eight goats. So you can guess what happened to the seven. So when you start a goat project, your goat farm project, make sure you get someone who is trustworthy or someone who is going to be honest with you. Because without that, you're going to be disappointed. See you guys next time and hope you're going to have, uh, you're, we'll learn something from a video. Good day. Enjoy your weekend.